Hey, Annabella. Say hi. This is Annabella, five years of age. And we are going to change her G tube. Yeah. G tube right there. It's going to be a video about changing it. We change it every three to six months. This one needs to get changed. And we're going to change it with the mini one. And this is the size. She's always had the same size since about three, four months of age. And I just wanted to show that I got my gloves. And I made up a syringe of water for the new balloon, her sticker, and then the bag that we're going to throw it away, the kit that all comes together. So first, I'm going to open up the kit, make sure I have everything available because it doesn't take very long at all. Once you've done it a few times, you can get it done pretty quickly, but it can be very scary at the same time if you've never done it before. Make sure you put your gloves on, doctor. So, I want to um, just kind of share this because I've changed many G2 balloons now. And now that I'm talking about it as I'm doing it, um, I just wanted to show everybody exactly what you're doing. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is take your balloon out and make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. You want to fill up the balloon. This is what's inside of Annabella's belly. And extend it fully with 5 ml of water. It's got a little air bubble in there, but just to see that it, nothing's wrong with it when it goes in, it's going to be able to retain and work. And then I always like to pull all those little air bubbles out and get it out so that way there's no air bubbles. So it works. I'm going to put that back on the clean surface. And then what we're going to do is take the empty syringe and we're going to remove Annabella's G-tube, which doing it the same way, we're going to, this is always a little tricky because it's been in there for a while. We're going to pull all of the water out, which this one's kind of short. Make sure that's all of it. And then we're going to tug it out, which you're going to be ready to receive it. And cover up the hole. Oh gosh. So that's the old one. And then we're replacing it with the new. So we're going to lubricate this one. This is what this little plug is for. Make sure it's straight. Make sure it's straight. And I'll lubricate. This so it can insert. Good. I'm just gonna try to get this. Alright, so now that that's lubricated, that's going directly back into the hole. And the peg is gonna keep it straight going down. Pull the peg out and insert our fresh water. And I only do about 4 ml, so I don't do the whole 5, but I just make sure I have it there. So go all the way down to 1. It should be nice and tight. Twist it around. And then that's pretty much it. We are done. That's changing Annabella's G-tube. All good now, happy? Yay! <laughs> and it can be very intimidating. It can look very scary. And obviously taking out the old one, that definitely needed to be changed. And because the PD shirt harvest, it's actually green. So, it's kind of gross. But, it's done. Fresh, brand new. Will be needed to be changed in three to six months. Amen. And Annabella's good to go. Say bye-bye, Annabella. Bye-bye to the video.